Hello everyone. Today I'm continuing on yet again with another horror film from 1972. Only two more to go. Uh, and today I'd like to discuss images. And this is directed by Robert Altman and starring Susanna York. And it is psychological horror. And this is my favorite kind of horror film. <laughs> Uh, my, when I think of horror films that I love, I think of movies like The Innocents uh, with Deborah Carr from around 1960, uh, uh, Repulsion from uh, Roman Polanski uh, with Catherine Deneuve. Images certainly is in line with that. Um, and it's a, it's a kind of gothic horror. At this time in Robert Altman's career, when he had become successful at last, uh, he was in his early 40s, when he made M.A.S.H. that became a big success, he began to rework Hollywood genres, M.A.S.H. being a reworking of the Hollywood war film and McCabe and Mrs. Miller, the, the uh, Western, Long Goodbye, um, The Private Eye, Philip Marlowe, uh, detective uh, movie. Um, so here he's, he's taking on Gothic core and, um, and, and has very, but it's set in the present day. So, it, the film opens with uh, a character called Catherine, played by Susanna York. We see her in her apartment. She is writing a book. She's writing a children's book, it, and um, the search, the search for unicorns. And Susanna York was actually writing this book <laughs> during the uh, filming of the movie, uh, and which was published a year or two afterwards. Uh, and it has a, a very fantasy element to it, uh, which uh, plays very well as sort of an overleaf to the to the uh, the story itself of images. Uh, her husband, who is played by Rennie Aubergenois, uh, a uh, actor who appeared in many uh, Robert Altman films, um, we don't know what he does. They appear to be wealthy. Uh, he is fond of jokes, overbearingly fond of his jokes and laughing at his own jokes. Uh, he, but he has to go back out to work. Uh, she gets jealous. She gets a phone call. She's jealous. And she begins to see, to see things. Uh, we, we, we get a sense early on that there's something wrong with Catherine's mental state. So... It's her husband, and her, she she asks her husband to take her back to her her family home, a cottage in the in the countryside. We have there's no indication of what country we're in. We don't see them uh, uh, leaving the apartment. We just see them as they approach uh, this beautiful cottage in this very idyllic setting, and it's it's got a sense of Eden. Uh, there's a beautiful long waterfall, a, a meadow with sheep grazing, very atmospheric, but also very isolated, as, as a gothic tale should be. Leaves blowing around, it's autumn time, it's in its process of becoming autumn, and the leaves are falling and blowing through the house. And, um, but her mental state, Catherine's mental state, does not improve here, and she begins to see apparitions of a former lover, played by Marcel Basufi, who was in um, the French Connection. Uh, there's a neighbor, uh, played by you, Emilius, and uh, he comes over with his his 12 year old daughter, and he is a total lecher. <laughs> and there is there is very much an element here of of sex with uh, compared with hysteria. Uh, and, and a sense of trauma sense, and even death. And this, this is very much part of the, the gothic mystique um, of horror films. Uh, the, she sees herself, she sees these, uh, these men in her life interchangeable. So she is, as she becomes more and more disoriented, so do we, the audience. And this is, uh, 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 illustrated by a jigsaw puzzle that there that is only about half done as the uh, when they reach the cottage and they begin to gradually fill it in uh, as the as the movie progresses so we see doubles uh, she sees herself uh, in and in this 12 year old girl who's played by Katherine Harrison um, 
we see kind of a double of who she was when she was a little girl, long blonde hair. Catherine Harrison is the granddaughter of Rex Harrison and the daughter of Noel Harrison. Noel Harrison had some fame in the U.S. in the 1960s. He was the co-star of The Girl from Uncle with Stephanie Powers, who also sang The Windmills of Our Mind, uh, which won an Oscar for Best Song of Its Year from, I think, Thomas Crown Affair. So they, they, have, they have many scenes together, and we get this sense that, that, uh, that uh, uh, Catherine and, and, uh, and, and Susanna are, are, uh, are kind of uh, interchangeable themselves. And Alton uses this strange thing because uh, <laughs> Catherine is, is the first name of Catherine Harrison, Susanna, the 12-year-old girl, the first name of Susanna York. And, all of them does the same thing with the, with the actors, as if they're all one person, which they often are throughout the film. So the film is is very much um, a spectacle. You know, it's just it, it's mesmerizing. Um, both in Susanna York's performance, she won the Best Actress at the Cannes Film Festival. Also, Vilmos Zygmunt's just absolutely gorgeous cinematography, and this is a new new 4K, well, this has been out four or five years, but from a new 4K restoration from the original camera negative, I believe it was. And I'd, I've seen this, I streamed this one movie uh, a while back on the uh, Criterion Channel. It was almost unwatchable. Uh, it definitely watchable in this, in this uh, edition, which has a, a ton of supplements which it, that are really good that I'll get to you very shortly. Um, so Altman here is, this is stylistically, this is uh, a good bit different from his other films. And certainly he, in, in an interview in the supplements, he says he was very much influenced by Mar Bergman's persona, which was 1966 with the, this melding of two women together and B.B. Anderson and uh, Lee Volman. Um, I was surprised that in another supplement with a historian, he says that uh, Altman was very impressed by Joseph Losey. I'm currently going through the films of Joseph Losey, and uh, especially movies like Secret Ceremony. Um, I, I, I thought a good bit about Accident because there's, there's, there's this intrigue going on within a kind of isolated farmhouse. Um, but. Uh, uh, images could also be seen as a part of a trilogy, a trilogy of women films. Uh, and uh, that Cold Day in the Park, which I think was around 68 with Sandy Dennis, and then later on Three Women with um, Janice Rule and Sissy Spacek and Shelley Duvall. These are all women that are sort of living on the edge of madness. In 1972, there was very few films that, that actually uh, included uh, the or had the main um, uh, actor in the in, in the production was was a female. I, th I think I've done about 35, and there, I think I've only counted four films of the 35 films I've counted in which there is a the the a female is the main protagonist in the film. The 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 film also has a uh, I, I mentioned Bill Bilmo Sigmund's uh, uh, cinematography, which absolutely astonishing in this in this uh, restoration John Williams score this is John Williams before before Jaws before he became you know the famous John Williams and and he Altman had worked in TV and um, in some of his uh, his uh, uh, TV shows episodes were were scored by John Williams so they were they were old friends and then Williams or the movie uses a percussionist, a Japanese percussionist, Tomu Yama, Yamashita. And he had a famous uh, uh, touring uh, band where music would play in the background. And he would come up with all these strange sounds uh, from percussion-like instruments. <laughs> so uh, Williams included that as he was writing the score. He would include some of these... Uh, uh, some of uh, of uh, Yamashita's music, and especially in the, you hear it right off the bat in the uh, in the credits, and it's used very effectively throughout the rest of the film. Uh, the movie did not get good reviews. It obviously it can it got a lot of notice because they they, they selected Susanna York as the best actress. Um, 
But uh, the reviews, some of the reviews, uh, we were mixed in the U.S. I tried to find as many as I could. Howard Thompson in the New York Times, it wasn't Vincent Canby was the top reviewer. So Canby didn't even review this film. And I think the film played at the New York Film Festival. Um, and he just absolutely trashed it, as did Rex Reed. <laughs> He trashed it, 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 unwatchable movie. I don't know what movie they were seeing because um, certainly it's oddball. It's one of Oldman's oddball movies. Uh, I, I mentioned the, the two other women's pictures, but also Brewster McCloud was another movie of, of this era, that uh, this era of Robert Oldman's uh, career. That was also, uh, uh, it is also very oddly done. You, you wonder what it's all about even as you're enjoying it. But ironically enough, the Allman films I like to come back to see is Bruce McCloud and, uh, and Images because of they're, they're such mysterious films. Um, if you want to read a, a really good review of, uh, of Images after you've seen the film, IMDb will link to The Village Voice, and Andrew Saris has a very long and just a, a absolutely brilliant analysis of what works in the movie and what does not work in the movie. But if you don't, you still get a great commentary here from, and, and we get Cat Ellinger and Sam Dagan <laughs> together. <laughs> so, uh, and, and they're so well prepared for this. It's almost like they're, you know, it's almost like dueling commentators because with, 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 uh, with great respect for each other, um, and they make so many connections, uh, and, and they 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 really analyze the film well. Again, it's horror. There, there's, you know, if you like, if if you're not so much into psychological horror, you want to see blood. There is there is a bit of blood <laughs> in images. Uh, overall, though, I, this is probably maybe the tenth time I've seen images. I saw it in the movies in 1972, and, and even though it didn't do well. It quickly became fairly common on the repertory uh, circuit in the 1970s, and it was one I was, oh man, I gotta see that again because it's so intriguing. You might, at the end, you might say, well, yeah, but what's it all about? You know, what does it mean? Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure it really matters that much. Um, Susanna York's performance is just uh, incredible. I mean, it, it, it's, uh, it, it, it's almost monumental. And, um, uh, and uh, overall, uh, as it's very, it's very uh, counter to some of the horror m movies that I've seen recently. It certainly it has art film pretensions to it. So if you don't like that, uh, I mean, you could, if you uh, like last year in Marion Bod, uh, and just the sort of fractured storytelling. But I just found it mesmerizing from beginning to end. Okay, thanks a lot for everybody who managed to listen. I do appreciate it. Comments are welcome. Take care.